Welcome Traveller, I'm free to play and I'm your guide for successful free to play adventure on Osterra. Today we'll take on the fortune board grinding to the limit for boosting our hell weapons as much as possible. But first I'll do my first unpacking because... Free, free to player COTC, congrats! Oh, it's all name earlier, congrats! <laughs> I wanted the wealth tapestry in the first place so you don't always get what you desired in your messages with Square, but I live in Germany so the shipping would be more problematic here I think and that's why they end up sending me this sweet Herminia here. But I must say I like that so much, the quality is insane and having a product now at home which is not for sale feels very unique. You can decide which side you want to face you and man these details. So thank you so much Square Enix for supporting players with these lovely giveaways all the time and good luck to all of you for the upcoming Tavern Talks. And now we're heading from Herminia over to Mr. Marvelous and getting lots of soul charts for optimizing our thorned weapons. So you get lots of fortune tickets right now. Normally without any bonus tickets you get 5 weekly from doing 5 battles and 1 every day just by winning one battle. For 100 memory fragments, for 500 soul charts and for 100 historic fragments you always get 10, so 13 total. With the new seasons of a tower you always get another 10 for each tower, so 20 together per week for 1000 of those tower charts. So you get 57 fortune tickets at the start of the week and 62 fortune tickets by the end of the week if you didn't spend any. And if you want to concentrate on making the newest hell weapons instead of pushing your not needed fortune weapons, because you're in hell for most of the challenges awaiting in the next updates, then we use those fortune tickets now to get around 13,500 soul charts with 7 runs, shall we? If your tank dies, it's not problematic, if you have someone to revive him. But if that unit dies, it's tragic. So avoid these scythe panels at best and try to get medals as often as you can with resetting. Earning a dice is more crucial for getting to the end of the fortune board if you were unlucky with the wrong panels or if you just liked being thrown back to a panel of choice. If you feel your dice are getting low, just throw a high number and run for it so you can get till the end without wasting 8 tickets. Taking the upper route here does not contain a flag apart from the secret passage, but getting there is random and will not get you more than 500 medals for August to multiply at the end. In my experience it was not worth it to get the 2 times medals, so just take the lower path and you're good to go. Try to get as much toughen up tiles as possible. And if you land on a metal tile after you clear the second flag, then you're guaranteed to get more metals after clearing August. So reset and try to get a number which leads you to metals here. Having fewer EX makes this board very easy. And having an SP fan for her doesn't require the best rolls because you don't go into lots of battles and those are over very quickly if you arranged a balanced team. Glossom and Tequilan can shine on this fortune board even with their fortune weapons now because of the boosted damage. If you don't have Fiori X, you can just use Helga in front of Alfin and equip innocent dancing shoes on him so she profits from the extra defense and give her the handcuffed woodwork too for extra defense up because she's taunting every start of the battle automatically. With the help of the kitty cape, the first damage will be reduced too, which is great. By the way, having more HP on the fortune lands is way better. So I'll just do a quick summary for the three battles which you'll have to fight. In the first one, having a lot of fan attacks, wind and ice at the end makes this enemy go to one shield in turn one. In the second battle, you heal up your team in turn one, so Helga provokes the enemy before he's attacking. Oh, and sometimes he does AoEs and then they crit hard, you should boost your defenses or your HP as hard as possible, or use your Wi-Fi and heal up your group when the enemy is broken, so he does not damage your team even more. August himself doesn't harm the group with this setup. You can get rid of enough shields to make Lars breaking him in turn 2, which knocks him out directly. One run lasts about 10 minutes with rerolling for better tiles and at the end of 7 runs where I did not get any lucky rolls over 3, which I must say happens very rarely in my experience, and I did not receive 4500 medals once. I got 337k fame medals, what resembles 337 fortune boxes and can be exchanged finally to 13,480 soul shots and this per week, which are 67 souls of war of your choice. 
If you like to know how to get another 3000 soul charts in about 50 minutes and have Sophia EX, then you might find this tutorial very interesting too. And if you'd like this channel to class up, I really appreciate a subscription and thumbs up. See you next time, you're free to play.